people call you the internet's boyfriend. I think when uh, the internet and I part ways in our relationship, I think it's probably time for the internet to spend some time on its own, kind of exploring itself. Just like a little personal time before jumping right into anything else. That's what I would say. Hi, I'm Oscar Isaac, and Esquire's asked me to explain a few things about my life and work. So here we go. Is Moon Knight the most complex character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Possibly, I mean, possibly. I don't wanna say he's the most complex, but uh, he's definitely the most troubled, I'd say. He's got a lot going on. I am quoted as saying that I didn't know about Moon Knight as a comic book fan growing up. Who was your favorite comic book character as a kid and why? It's a toss up between Wolverine and Archangel, but I, I have to go with Wolverine as a smaller guy. You know, Wolverine's a little guy, in the comics at least he was. You know, furry and angry and I could relate to that. And best memory of working with Carrie Fisher. Right, because she did slap me 27 times in one take, that's true. Not my favorite memory. My favorite memory was probably, there was this music playing. It was like, we just started kind of spontaneously dancing as she kind of hummed and sang, you know, and there'd be like robots and aliens and spacecraft everywhere. And it was just a very surreal, beautiful moment that I got to experience with the incredible, legendary Carrie Fisher. Explain the bromance with Pedro Pascal. He's obsessed with me. And uh, I try to get away from him and he finds me. He finds, even when I change my number, he, I, can't, I can't get rid of him. So it's like a, it's like a disease. On Inside Lewin Davis, who was easiest on set, the cat or Adam Driver? Definitely not the cats. The cats were, were awful and scratched me and um, there was lots of them. Definitely the cats were a lot harder than Adam Driver was. Okay, the two most searched questions on scenes from marriage. One, where can I get those glasses? And two, is this real? <laughs> where you can get those glasses, I don't know. Um, they were quite a few to choose from and it felt like those were the right ones. And is this real? It wasn't real, uh, thankfully, it was, it was acting. It was based on a Igmar Bergman series. It was probably as traumatic to do as it was to watch for everyone. So I'm glad that people thought that it was that convincing. What song guarantees that I'll jump up no matter what and tear up the dance floor? My youngest son has really gotten into drums. He really loves playing hip hop parade by, by nature. So every time he starts playing that, dad's gonna jump up and give him so, some A's and hoes. As both an actor and producer on Moon Knight, what were the biggest challenges? Well, I guess I'd say the challenges were incredibly enjoyable and super creative because it's about um, quite a few different personalities that, this, that live inside this one body. So sometimes I'd have to figure out beforehand what each alter was going to be doing before we shot it, uh, if that makes any sense, which I know that kind of doesn't. Uh, but that's why it was challenging. How did Ethan Hawke become part of Moon Knight? And what's my favorite thing about acting with him? Ethan Hawke lives around the corner for me in Brooklyn. When I saw him at this coffee shop, I thought he would be perfect. And I walked up to him and I told him I was a huge fan of his work. And would he like to be the bad guy in a Marvel show? You know, he could have easily just walked in and, you know, collected a paycheck and been the heavy. But he was completely invested in everybody's um, storyline and in, in the actual um, story as a whole and to have somebody that, that was that that was that dedicated and willing to bring everything that he has to the table was just amazing. Of all the exceptional characters I've brought to life, which one would I most like to go out to dinner with? Probably Nathan from Ex Machina because of his mind. He has a lot of amazing things to talk about, a lot of amazing things to say. Hopefully he wouldn't, you know, feed me to one of his sex robots. What was my one condition for agreeing to play Spider-Man 2099 and what makes him so interesting? Uh, I didn't really have one condition. I mean, I just said that I really wanted to make him an interesting character and not just kind of this one, basically like the Batman version of Spider-Man, just like a dark, you know, monosyllabic kind of guy. I think what makes him most interesting is that he is the least funny of all the Spider-Men and that in itself is really funny. Now, I moved to New York to go to Juilliard. My favorite thing about the city of being a New Yorker. I guess my favorite thing is probably also the most difficult thing is the energy of the place. You know, it's like you, you walk out the door and you're just swept up into the current, into the energy of the city, which is amazing and also a little bit exhausting as well. But it's, it's the second I arrived here, I knew it was, it was home. I'm Oscar Isaac. 
This has been a few things about me on Esquire. Please watch Moon Knight on March 30th on Disney+.